art is our theme for this week. I really enjoy art. I enjoy going to art galleries and museums and similar and just viewing it. It makes me feel inspired and good about myself in general. In school in Sweden you don't study art history which is kind of sad. I don't know if you do that in other countries. I would assume you do because it sounds like something you should study. Maybe it depends on what school you're on but it's not something I know anything at all about from school. At our local art museum they sometimes got this tour of because they got a new exhibit uh, every now and then and, and that guy will always assume that people who come there and walk on that tour they know about art or like they will talk about this famous artist and then they'll ask me like oh do you know this painting or whatever it is that they made and I'm just standing there I've got no idea who you're talking about even uh, and that kind of makes me feel a bit uncomfortable or I wish I knew more about art history and I guess I could study it on my own but History isn't really... it's not my topic. But with or without art history, I still enjoy drawing and painting and just creating things. Like doing this, I enjoy making a video. I took one art class actually when I was about six and yeah, that was it. Half a year. I wish my parents would have kept me in the art class because that was really fun and I think I would have enjoyed that. If it was something that continued, I don't even remember. But I try to draw something once a day, more or less, in my life. It's not working, and I'm not doing that, but at least that's better than not doing it at all, or not even trying. Uh, and I've got this little book where I try to draw something once a day. I actually created a Tumblr recently, which is called Less Than an Ocean. There's a link for it in the description. And there my attempt is to do something creative on that tumblr once a day. Though this is probably the worst timing ever for me to start this because I'm in the middle of moving and I'm going to London and how am I going to keep up with this if I'm not even home? But yeah, I'll figure that out. Uh, I think otherwise tumblr is a very nice... if you can't go to an art museum or like something like that then just going on tumblr or through different blogs that is kind of the same experience not really, because you'll be distracted by YouTube and Twitter and other things on Tumblr and whatever. But it's sort of close. Uh, I've got a few vlogs in the description which I follow, which are like artsy, like which inspire me. And yeah, you might enjoy those, so if you want to check those out, those are below. Uh, and also a link to my Tumblr, the one I created to be more creative. And on the topic of projects, I got a second channel with the same username as my Tumblr blog. And yeah, no, okay, let, let's not talk about that, but I just did. Well, whatever, it's in the description. <sighs> My brain. Yes, and that's the end. Leave me a comment telling me if you ever studied art history in school, or is that only a Swedish thing where we don't learn that? Let me know how often you do something creative, or if you have some kind of schedule for it or whatever, how do you deal with that? But yes, this is the end. I think I've said it like three times now. Have a nice life. Bye! See you next week when I'm in London!